all for joining us for this update on our deployment of American Rescue Plan funds. Joining me today are Alec Grinsky, the President and CEO of the Lincoln Community Foundation and Board Chair of Lincoln Littles, Suzanne Schneider, the Assistant Director of Lincoln Littles, Jim Blue, Executive Director of Cedars, Kate Bowles is with us today, she's the Senior Director for Policy and Advocacy at Cedars, and Kelly Ross, the Founder and Executive Director with Echo Collective. Now, since the passage of the Biden-Harris administration's American Rescue Plan Act three years ago, the city of Lincoln has worked side by side with our public and private sector partners to apply these once in a lifetime funds efficiently, effectively, and equitably to grow economic opportunity and quality of life here in Lincoln. And we've supported local small businesses through utility, rent, and mortgage assistance. We've supported local tourist attractions in partnership with our county through grants that helped these nonprofits hire staff and host events. And we've supported investments in workforce that are changing the trajectory of hundreds of our community members' careers and lives. Today, I am so pleased to announce that we will redirect some of our unspent American Rescue Plan funds to meet critical workforce needs that help us grow the great life and further enhance our local economy. We plan to redirect funds to expand participation in our successful commercial driver's license training program to increase investments in refugee and immigrant entrepreneurs who are starting new businesses, and to provide greater access to affordable, high-quality childcare and career pathways in the childcare field. Specifically, we will award grants in the following amounts to the following organizations. First, we will give an additional $150,000 to support ECHO Collective which will enable multiple cohorts of refugee and immigrant women to, intend, to attend an intensive four-month business education course in preparation for the launch of their new small businesses right here in Lincoln. We plan to award another $250,000 to support the commercial driver's license program that's offered by our American Job Center. Those funds will continue to provide meaningful financial assistance for training and facilitating job placements. And we will be granting $200,000 focused on supporting child care and early childhood education, including $100,000 to Cedars in support of their child care programs in their Northbridge Child Care Center. These funds will assist Cedars in providing stable access to child care for low-income families in North Lincoln. And the final $100,000 will go to Lincoln Littles for an internship program in conjunction with our American Job Center for approximately 30 participants in that internship program. And those participants will be paid during their internship and receive weekly educational opportunities to bolster their childcare knowledge. As a community here in Lincoln, we better understand the need for and importance of high quality, affordable childcare thanks to the work of the Lincoln Community Foundation. Their Prosper Lincoln Initiative, which built on the Lincoln Vital Signs Report, demonstrate that high quality, affordable early childhood care and education are key areas of focus for our community as we seek to nurture and strengthen our future. So here to share more about how these latest ARPA and funded investments in childcare will positively impact the childcare landscape in Lincoln is Alec Grinsky, the president and CEO of the Lincoln Community Foundation and the board chair of Lincoln Littles. Alec? Thank you. Uh, Good morning, um, Alec Kerensky uh, on behalf of the Lincoln Community Foundation and Board Chair of Lincoln Littles. I want to thank the Mayor for a really strategic and thoughtful investment in our community's workforce development challenges um, uh, in, in what we're characterizing as the workforce behind the workforce or our um, uh, early childhood education employees. Lincoln is home to about 17,000 kids aged 0 to 5. About 77% of those kids have both parents working, or all parents working, in the case of single parent family households. Those parent, and that rate is greater than the national average. Those parents rely on quality early childhood education to be able to work, and of course, for the quality development benefits that they accrue. And that's why we characterize that as the workforce behind the workforce. And so when that system is faltering, our entire community is impacted. That's currently our reality in Lincoln. We have multiple child care centers that are not at full capacity, that have empty classrooms, all because of a lack of workforce. In Lincoln alone, we just uh, did a survey not too long ago, um, and just about 30% of the providers in Lincoln responded to that survey. And just those 30%, just those providers had about a wait list of 1,500 kids. So that's just a fraction of, of the capacity limitations of our current system. 
And, uh, and in addition to that, our community has seen four child care centers close in the past six months, which decreased our available slots by about 500. And for the, fam the individuals that are working, it's a tough job. There's a lot of burnout. It's not great pay. And not a whole lot of support is provided to those individuals. Child care centers don't have the capacity or the capability to recruit and retain talent. And that's where Lincoln Littles comes in. Lincoln Littles is a fiscally sponsored organization of the Lincoln Community Foundation and has been working for years to address the systemic challenges in our early childhood education system, be it supporting families and providers and now the workforce. Starting last year, Lincoln Littles launched a workforce development program. And in just a few short months, they've helped just over 60 individuals introduce them to the early childhood education career, uh, some introductory development and training over the course of a few weeks. And then they place those individuals with what is now 24 participating providers. With this support, we're going to be able to continue to offer that programming for at least another four sessions throughout the remainder of this year, increasing the capacity of our workforce in, in, in the child care system. In addition to that, Lincoln Littles provides wellness and developmental supports to existing early childhood education employees so that they can uh, continue to, to, to grow in their careers and feel supported, uh, which is really important in this field. So thank you again, Mayor, for this really thoughtful and strategic investment in the workforce behind the workforce. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alec, for your leadership at Lincoln Littles. Thank you to all of our nonprofit partners. Uh, as we have stated before, this is a complex issue. It requires a whole of community approach. And so we are proud to be one part of that solution. Uh, so together with our partners, we are using these American Rescue Plan funds to double down on key workforce needs in our community and lift up the lives of our residents by increasing their economic mobility. And if you are looking for a career opportunity in a high demand field, these programs are for you. So we hope you will please visit the American Job Center in downtown Lincoln and ask for more information. And to learn more about our city's American Rescue Plan investments, you can visit our website at lincoln.ne.gov slash ARP. With that, we'd be happy to open this up for any questions from the media. Any questions? Okay. Well, thank you again for joining us to learn more about our work to grow the great life and how we support a strong workforce in Lincoln. Again, this effort takes government, it takes nonprofit leadership, it takes the private sector, and it takes you. We hope you'll join us in being part of the solution to our challenges here in Lincoln.